It's a dirt work rodeo at Dalby Bottoms Wildlife Area right now as special restorations are put in place before the area opens to public use. Dalby is a vast floodplain along the Missouri River near Atchison. Licensed through mitigation to Kansas Wildlife Parks and Tourism by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in 2008, it offers something rarely afforded in public land acquisitions. Area manager Kirk Thompson explains. Dalby is a unique area because we are, we're going to be able to start from scratch here. We've got 1,600 acres of farm ground and it's very unique because rarely do you get to start from scratch on a wildlife area and develop it the way you want to. Habitat construction is vital as the area is developed and planning has been an important part of the process over the past year as development begins. The stakes that you see out there, that's the center line of where the chute's going to go. Uh, this particular chute will be a little over a mile long and it'll meander. It won't go straight. They'll have some meanders in it and it'll t go down uh, to the north here and then bend back a little bit further to the west. Now the dirt work is underway. Dalby is undergoing construction of three chutes totaling four miles long that will connect with the Missouri River. These channels, 75 feet wide and about 15 feet deep, will represent the normal backwaters and sloughs along a natural major river. Besides providing boat access to the Dalby interior, they will produce critical habitat for endangered pallid sturgeons and other wildlife in the river system. At the same time, diversity mounds are being constructed on the floodplain. Varied elevation allows maximum plant diversity that attracts a variety of wildlife. Final excavation will also rechannel Walnut Creek into a more natural flow pattern through the area. The result will be timber, native grasses, and wetland plants interspersed in a productive public land. Fifteen large backhoes are working to complete the deep water channels, moving about a quarter of a mile per week. Tractors, scrapers, and caterpillars are creating scour holes to improve floodplain habitat. The machines work from daylight till dark seven days a week. Though it's several years until good hunting is expected at Dalby, the work right now will pay off in great new recreational opportunities for northeastern Kansas and surrounding states. The Big River and its riparian system attract winter geese and ducks as well as a host of fur bearers and game animals. Some public use is expected in 2013, barring construction delays. In the meantime, plans are on track to finish the dirt work at Dalby Bottoms this year. Stay tuned. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife Parks and Tourism.